Tonight, a security guard's family needs your help to figure out who killed him. Quentin Cole was working, patrolling downtown Indianapolis on foot when he was shot and killed last month. WRTV's Kara Ketty reports on the reward being offered for information, and she learned more about the victim through his brother. He loved nature, you know, he loved art. Quentin Cole's brother, Jaleel Perry, describes Quentin as quiet, a creator who used to make his own comics. 37-year-old Quentin was shot and killed in the 300 block of East New York Street on November 2nd while working as a security guard for Garda World. He, he definitely had um, an artistic spirit, you know, and like a kind soul. Like, sorry, this is like really the first time I talk about him. Real person, you know, didn't harm nobody. Everybody knows that everybody that knew him knew he didn't harm anybody. You know, he did his job, went back home. No arrests have been made. Garda World is offering a $25,000 reward for any information that leads to the arrest and conviction of Quentin's killer. I, I know how people are, you know, they tend to stay out of things. That's understandable. You know, life is life, but at the same time, imagine if it was you. You want anybody to give you something. You can contact Crime Stoppers at 317 262 TIPS or Detective Stephen Gray at 317 502 3792. Everybody is all blind to it or naive to what goes on until it touches you. And then that's when you want to address this. That's when you want everybody to come to your aid. And guess what? You may not get answers. And that's what we're left with. No answers, no information, no leads. Now he's trying to figure out how to live his life without his brother. And I hope you up there. I hope you up there. I hope you're having the greatest time of your life. I can't control it. I lost my brother. What I can't control is keeping my family going keeping his name alive. And that's what I'm going to do to the best of my ability. Working for you, Kara Kenny, WRTV. And you can find out more information about this case and how to contact investigators in this story on the WRTV app.